The US-Mexico border, and for the first time anyone here can remember, southbound traffic is gridlocked. Unhappy with the free flow of movement from the US, where higher rates of COVID-19 have been recorded, a group of concerned Mexican citizens have taken matters into their own hands and blockaded the port of entry. We have blocked the international frontier in Nogales, Sonora, due to the inaction of our federal government. If we have cases of coronavirus here, it's because they are from people who have traveled abroad. This protest isn't about disrespecting our American neighbors, but we want the Mexican government to take concrete action. It's just one of many protests over the freedom of southbound movement carried out by furious Mexican communities since the pandemic began along several stretches of the country's 3,000-kilometer border. While officially, non-essential travel between all three North American countries has been restricted, in practice, enforcement in Mexico is nearly non-existent, and crossing into the country is just as easy as ever. But for many locals, residents taking matters into their own hands has been a step too far. It's not good. I personally don't approve of the public enforcing their own laws. That's what we have a government for. They need to set the rules that are for the good of the people, in the U.S. as well as in Mexico. But so far, we haven't seen our government helping those who are most in need. For local governments, these pop-up protests may be making their health challenges more daunting. Dr. Daphne Santana, the health secretary for Ciudad Juarez across the Rio Grande from El Paso, Texas, says the border blockades are no doubt counterproductive. The blocking of the port of entry to movement, as some communities have done, is not going to limit the spread of the disease, given the phase of the pandemic that we're currently in. We know that anyone could be a carrier of the virus, even though they're showing no symptoms. So focusing on the necessary precautions should be the priority. These types of protests actually expose our citizens to a greater risk of contagion. While concerns may be high over the pandemic crossing international borders, the virus is clearly already here, and it may be a case of shutting the barn door after the horse has bolted. Alastair Bavastock, CGTN along the U.S.-Mexico border.